In this video, we'll talk about mole-to-mole -mole conversion. Uh, there are lots of types of questions related to mole, how to convert mole to mass, mass to mole, mole to mole, uh, mole to the number of particles. This video will help you to understand how we can find um, moles of one of the substances if the mole of another substance is given. So, uh, let's read first question. Ammonia reacts with oxygen gas to produce nitrogen gas and water. Ammonia is NH3. It reacts with oxygen gas and it produces nitrogen gas. We will write it N2 and plus H2O. Uh, first, you have to guys uh, just balance the equation to answer the next question. Uh, for balancing, I will write here 4. I will write here uh, 2, uh, 6, and uh, 3. After, let's read our own equation. How many moles of oxygen gas is required to react completely with 11 moles of ammonia? Guys, in the equation, what you see coefficients, we will call them moles. We know that before we were teaching students as coefficients, there are a number of uh, atoms, number of molecules, uh, number of formula units. But today we will uh, say that these coefficients are moles. Yeah, so, 4 moles of uh, NH3 reacts with 3 moles of oxygen. We will get 2 moles uh, of N2 and 6 moles of H2O. Uh, this ratio, guys, never changes. If we increase the amount of one of these uh, reactants or uh, we have to increase the amount of products and amount of the other reactant also. Look, the ratio 2 to 3 uh, in reactant part never changes. If you increase the amount of ammonia two times, if you make it 8, you must make uh, oxygen 6. If you increase the amount of ammonia, that let's say we will write that ammonia is 2, uh, we decrease the amount of uh, ammonia, 2 moles ammonia we have, we have to write that, uh, we have to decrease amount of oxygen also, 1.5 moles. So ratio never changes. Now let's look at um, our equation again. So what question tells us? 11 moles of ammonia. 11 moles of ammonia is given in the equation. So we have to find what is the mole of oxygen gas which reacts with 11 moles of ammonia. It is X. So from equation you can see that 4 moles of ammonia reacts with 3 moles of oxygen. 11 moles will react with X. After what do we do? We will do cross multiplication. 11 multiply by 3 and divide by 4. It will be approximately 8. But we have here second part of our equation. How many moles of nitrogen gas is produced in this reaction? Guys, uh, we will put under nitrogen gas X. Let's use different color. So let's put here X. Uh, as you can see, uh, from eleven, uh, from four moles of ammonia, we can we get two moles of uh, nitrogen gas. So I again use this coefficient. Four moles of ammonia gives us um, two moles of uh, N two nitrogen gas. Then eleven moles of ammonia will give us X. Again, I will do cross multiplication. 11 multiply by 2, divide by 4. And it will be 5.5. In both cases, guys, you will use coefficients and you will do cross multiplication to find your answer. Okay, let's look at a next question. Let me remove this part. In next question, it says that when methane burns uh, completely in air, carbon dioxide and water are formed. How many moles of water are produced in this process? So first, let's write again our reaction CH4 plus O2. We will get uh, carbon dioxide and water. And as I said, we have to first balance our chemical equation. Without balancing, we cannot solve this type of equations. Uh, so we will write here 2, and in front of oxygen, we will write 2. So our chemical equation is balanced. Chemical reaction is balanced. So how many moles of... Guys, uh, when methane burns... Uh, completely in air, carbon dioxide and water are formed. How many moles of water are produced in this reaction? Again, in this reaction, we said that guys, coefficients our, uh, is our moles. If they didn't mention any exactly number, so we will take only coefficients. So as you can see that from one mole of 
um, methane gas two moles of oxygen we will get one mole of carbon dioxide and two moles of water so our reaction is two moles okay let's look at the next question so in the next question it says that how many moles of water uh, will be produced from 10 moles of oxygen gas so what we will write our reaction high oxygen reacts with hydrogen and we will get water molecules and uh, and we have to first balance this chemical equation so what we will do we will write here two and here two our chemical reaction is balanced as you can see from the chemical equation that one mole of oxygen gas produces two moles of water here we have one one mole of oxygen gas produces two moles of water then 10 moles of oxygen gas will produce x moles of water again we will do cross multiplication we will multiply 10 by 2 and 1 by x and it will get here 20 so 2 times more water 20 moles water okay next question how many moles of oxygen gas are needed to combine with 3.2 moles of h2s when h2s reacts with oxygen gas we will get so2 and h2o so we will get uh, two uh, products h2o and so2 so we will write here two here two uh, also two as you can see the sulfur is two so in front of oxygen we will write three so how many moles of oxygen gas are needed to combine with 3.2 moles of H2S? So as you can see from the reaction, 2 moles reacts with 3 moles. Then uh, 3.2 moles of SO2 will react with X moles of oxygen gas. And as we said that we will do cross multiplication and you will see that our answer is 4.8. I just multiplied 3.2 by 3 number of oxygen atoms and divided by 2 moles of uh, hydrogen sulfide. In the next question it says that how many moles of hydrogen gas uh, are needed to, to make 0 0.25 moles ammonia and we know that when nitrogen reacts with hydrogen we will get ammonia gas uh, first let's balance again our chemical equation and I, and I balance chemical equation and you can see that one mole of a nitrogen gas reacts with three moles of hydrogen gas and we get at the end two moles of NH3 but our equation asks that how many moles of hydrogen gas, we will write under hydrogen X, are needed to make 0 0.25 moles ammonia. We will write here 0 0.25. Guys, before answering any question, place your X and the number. So if it says that how many moles of hydrogen gas, so it means we have to find moles of hydrogen gas. We have to put under hydrogen X are needed to make 0 0.25 moles ammonia so under ammonia 0 0.25 because it's given after from equation you can see that three moles i took coefficient gives you two moles again coefficient and x will give you 0 0.25 after what do you do you have to just do cross multiplication x multiply by two uh, 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 and three multiply by 0 0.25 and from here you will get that x is equal to And the last, last question, how many moles of ammonia are produced if 4.24 moles of hydrogen are reacted with excess of uh, nitrogen? So, again, we wrote this reaction before. When nitrogen reacts with hydrogen gas, we will get ammonia. And first, we have to balance our chemical equation. Uh, we will get NH3, sorry for writing. We will write here 2 and here 3. And how many moles of ammonia are produced from 4.20 moles of hydrogen? 4.20 is a hydrogen, for hydrogen is given, and they ask from us ammonia. We will put here x. From equation, you can see that 3 gives you 2, then 4.2 will give us x. And the answer is 2.8 moles. 
goodbye. Don't forget.